To make the presentation for our sixth inductee, would you please welcome up to the stage nine-time Paralympic champion, Louise Savage OAM. Our next inductee ended his career as one of our most successful Australians in Paralympic history, following the path that Louise paved. Let's take a look. Born with a congenital amputation to his lower left arm, Matthew Cowdery became an exceptional athlete and an outstanding ambassador for the Paralympic movement. He competed at his first Paralympic Games in Athens at the age of 15, winning three gold medals, two silvers and a bronze. At the 2008 Paralympic Games, he collected five goals and broke five world records. He followed that with a phenomenal performance at the World Championships, netting seven golds and two silvers and breaking seven world records. He continued his stellar form into the 2012 Paralympic Games, winning a medal in every event, a total of five gold, two silver and one bronze. Calgary shows his true worth. He shows he's a champion and comes through and wins his fifth gold in London. He was selected as Australia's flag bearer for the closing ceremony of the 2008 Paralympic Games. Across three Commonwealth Games, he won three gold medals and one silver, with a double gold in the 50 metres and 100 metres freestyle events in Melbourne in 2006, both in world record time. All up, he won 57 international medals. Cowdery won a host of major awards, including World Disabled Swimmer of the Year three times and Swimming Australia's Swimmer of the Year with a Disability on five consecutive occasions. Matthew Cowdery, OAM, is inducted into the Sport Australia Hall of Fame as an athlete member for the sports of swimming. Welcome to the Sport Australia Hall of Fame, the champion of champions, Matthew Cowdery. Welcome to Matthew Cowdery. Well, there's been some that have made the Hall of Fame before you, some pretty impressive parasport athletes. You are the seventh inductee, and like Cheryl before, you're probably thinking, you know, there needs to be more. Congratulations on an incredible career to you. Um, you watched the Sydney Olympic Games as well and found some inspiration from the sport that you loved in swimming. Tell us about that. I did. Uh, the, the Sydney games for me were a little bit different actually, sitting at home as a, an 11 year old. Uh, I remember watching the athletics actually, that was where it all sort of started and halfway through one of the night finals there was a demonstration event and the Lady Louise uh, rolled out and did what she did and uh, uh, they mentioned that a couple of weeks later there'd be this uh, other event on not quite Channel 7 at the time, but uh, it, uh, it was a, a fantastic thing as a young 11-year-old to, to sit there and watch the Paralympics. Uh, probably didn't realistically think I'd be there in four years' time, but it was a, a heck of a journey from there. It was only four years later. At 15, you went to the Paralympic Games representing Australia. It moved so fast. Uh, it did, and I mean... Like everybody here, it comes down to a range of things. You, your parents, fantastic coaching. I know Bish is here and a great support network. But it's, um, it, it was the development of the Paralympics, I think, kind of went in the same way that I did along that journey as well. And it was, um, it was something to, to see. You were also very inspira inspirational um, in terms of representing parasport as well and pushing for change and pushing um, for it to be presented and accepted. Um, of the 13, 13 Paralympic gold medals that you have, is there a race that you look back and go, that was the one, everything went according to plan? There were, there were some that were more special than others uh, and the one probably of above all else is uh, the one that my parents were able to, to get to. So um, they weren't really in a position to, to come away and see me swim. They didn't see me in Athens, didn't see me in Beijing. Uh, they got along to the Melbourne Commonwealth Games, which was great. But 
uh, halfway through that meet uh, in London, they, uh, Uncle Toby's, who uh, was sponsoring me at the time, went down, my parents went there, got them on a plane, flew them over, got them into the stadium about 10 minutes before the start of the 100 freestyle. And, wow. Uh, <laughs> to, to after all those, all those years to actually, and all the early mornings and everything else, to, to share that with them was um, by far the, the best thing that anybody could ever have done for me, so buy a muesli bar. <laughs> You, you mentioned Peter Bishop. He stands on pool deck at the South Australian Aquatic Centre, Leisure and Aquatic Centre, which is actually called the Matthew Cowdery Swimming Pool. That must feel pretty special. Uh, it does. Um, we've got a fantastic facility in Adelaide. It was always a, a little bit awkward. They did that just before I'd actually retired, so there was a, a few, few jokes that, that went along with that at the time, but uh, it, it was a fantastic honour, and to, to have swimming... Uh, have turned around, particularly in South Australia, to the point where people are moving from interstate to come to Adelaide to swim, uh, to train. That was something that was unfathomable when I started in the sport, and, and that's down to Pete Bishop at the back. And also Matthew Cowdery, and the inspiration that you've provided, not only our nation, but the state. And I reckon that you're the only member of parliament currently sitting in South Australia that has one of these, and a member of the Sport Australia Hall of Fame. Congratulations on your career post sport and tonight. Thank you. Thank you.